Hi everyone, I'm Eric and welcome to EA Game On. And today as you can see, well we're gonna talk about the famous Mario. Why? Because this Friday there's a game coming out and it's Super Mario Odyssey, a brand new 3D Mario game for the Nintendo Switch and I'm so fucking excited. But today, straight out of the archive, I'm gonna talk about Super Mario Brothers. And why I'm talking about this? Because it's the first Super Mario Brothers game, and it's because of this game. If I'm a gamer today, the first time I played video games was when I was four years old, and I got an NES, and of course my first game was Super Mario Brothers, and that changed everything. I'm so glad that I found Mario because he made me the gamer that I am today, and without him, uh, maybe I wouldn't play video games, or who knows. Uh, but he started everything and it's awesome so now as you can see Mario is not only a plumber he can do whatever the f he wants and he's doing a great job like carding or having some crazy parties playing uh, any sports golf tennis hockey whatever he can also be a doctor so let's talk about Super Mario Brothers on the NES this game of course it was a platforming game it was developed and published by Nintendo on the NES console. Recently, I played that game on the NES Classic Edition. <coughs> it's amazing. As you know, Mario, it's always pretty much the same freaking story every time. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta save a princess, you know? The princess, it's Princess Peach, and of course, she got captured by a Bowser, and Bowser kinda wanna marry her or do some maybe kinky stuff with her or do whatever with her and Mario is like nope I'm gonna save you Princess Peach and we'll have a family or something or a happy life together and that's it first you can play just as a one player only or you can play as two players yeah you can play with Mario and your brother Luigi the way it works for the co-op Mario play first and after that, when you die, the person who died with Mario, the other player jump in with Luigi and play his turn until he dies and Mario comes back and again and again and again. And that's how you play in co-op mode. The gameplay. Well, gameplay, it's amazing. That time this game was an iconic video game, a platforming game. Mario simple, control, go forward or backward, you jump and that's it to kill your enemies you have to jump on Koopas or Goombas you jump pretty much on anything to to kill in, the, in that game you have such a diversity in enemies like Koopas they have shells on them and you have to be careful because the shell can bounce everywhere and hit you Goombas are pretty useless you just walk and you just have to jump on it on them to kill them uh, and there's a shitload of different Koopas that are pretty dangerous and bullet bills everywhere sometimes so the levels the way it works start from the beginning finish the level at the end you jump on the little flag and go down the pole and you go to the next level and at the end of each world you got a castle a bowser castle so you go there you fight the boss at the end and you think you save the princess but no because there's a freaking toad telling you, no, she's not in this castle, she's in the next one. So you go to the next one and you say, oh, no, sorry, she's not here, she's in the next one. So you go like, fuck six, like, why don't you tell me, like, which castle it is so I can go straight up there and kill Bowser and save Princess Peach. But no, the designs, it was, it's just amazing. Those platform levels. Are, are awesome. There's a lot of different levels. You can have like water levels and those are might be a pain in the butt because you always Mario always sink to the bottom so you always have to uh, press A to try to go to the surface. So the water levels are a pain in the ass most of the time. Once you figure it out how to pass through that level it's simple. Music is so good. Even like when I was four years old I still remember 
everything and when I play the NA on the NES Classic I still remember all the classic music you just stay in your head like it's one of the best soundtracks in a video game and it's just a classic formula that they had with the Super Mario Brothers. So Super Mario Brothers for me it's a classic uh, that's back from the source how it was simple to do a platforming video game and you didn't need anything fancy for controls you just move and jump dodge any attacks and just go straight forward and all these different levels to go on the ground or in the water level or up in the sky and the clouds anywhere it was just amazing and this game Super Mario Brothers you can play this game like from the beginning on the NES console or now with the NES Classic Edition or you can also play on the virtual console they had a bunch of different virtual console when the Wii console was out or the Wii U and also on your DS or 3DS and hopefully maybe the Nintendo Switch will have a virtual console some sort of virtual console that we can play older games from back in the day that game was the beginning of history gaming it's just so amazing Nintendo what they what they did with that game they just went through the roof it was crazy so at the end Super Mario Brothers classic it's easy even nowadays to replay it it's still good uh, for all those good reasons I'm giving that game a 9 out of 10 and if you want you can play right now even I think on your mobile smartphone device I'm sure you can find a, a way to play it on there you can play it pretty much anywhere if you haven't here for whatever reason the first one or if you think you should play the first one I really recommend because that's history gaming and it's just incredible the controls are super tight and it's so good so as usual keep playing hard